Hi, I'm Richard Collard, Senior Corporate Product Manager at Merit Medical. Welcome to a virtual in-service for the Swift Ninja Steerable Microcatheter and Swift Ninja Steerable Coronary Microcatheter. The Swift Ninja Steerable Coronary Microcatheter and Swift Ninja Steerable Microcatheter are intended for general intravascular use, including peripheral and coronary vasculature. Once the subselective region has been accessed, the microcatheter can be used for the controlled and selective infusion of diagnostic, embolic, or therapeutic materials into vessels. The microcatheter should not be used in the cerebral vessels. Remove the Swift Ninja, including the holder from the package, and lay them out on the table. Attach a sterile syringe filled with heparinized saline solution to the lure lock fitting of the microcatheter holder, and inject enough saline to wet the entire microcatheter surface to activate the hydrophilic coating. Additional wetting of the Swift Ninja surface will reactivate the hydrophilic coating. Next, remove the information card and activate the steering slash articulation feature by engaging the steering dial. Hold the hand grip with one hand and with the other hand gently pull the white steering dial toward the lure connector until an audible clicking sound is heard. If the steering dial is not engaged prior to rotating the steering dial, the steering wires may become damaged or broken. The information card we remove prior to engaging the steering dial is not just packaging. It is very important as it shows how to engage the steering dial. Once the steering dial is engaged, remove the Swift Ninja from the holder by pulling it straight out of the holder. With the catheter straight, gently hold the Swift Ninja near the tip of the catheter in one hand and rotate the steering dial in both directions to ensure the steerable tip rotates in both directions. A tension limiter is built into the steering dial to prevent the articulation wires from being broken. When the steering dial is rotated too far, the steering dial will spin freely and will make a clicking noise. Once the limit is reached on the steering dial, stop rotating the steering dial as the steerable tip will not bend any further. Flush the lumen of the Swift Ninja with heparinized saline. If using a guide wire to advance the Swift Ninja through the vasculature, Pull the guide wire into the Swift Ninja so it is proximal to the most proximal marker band prior to articulating the Swift Ninja tip. Do not operate the steerable tip while a guide wire is positioned distal to the microcatheter tip. Otherwise, vascular damage and or breakage of the wire tip or microcatheter tip may occur. After articulating the Swift Ninja tip, you may lock the curve shape in position. The locking mechanism is located in the catheter hub. Rotate the steering dial until the tip is in a desired curve shape. Slide the locking mechanism towards the lure connector. When engaged, the tip will remain in the articulated position until unlocked. When the Swift Ninja is locked, do not turn the steering dial as this may damage or break the locking mechanism. Once the desired curve is achieved and the catheter tip is locked, the guide wire may be advanced out the catheter tip into the vessel. To unlock the catheter tip, slide the locking mechanism towards the catheter tip. Be sure to unlock the catheter tip prior to advancing the catheter. When unlocking the catheter, hold the steering dial to maintain the catheter curve. Once the catheter tip is unlocked, rotate the steering dial to reduce the catheter curve to advance over the guide wire. If you want to advance the Swift Ninja through the vasculature without a guide wire, control the steerable tip by manipulating the steering dial while carefully advancing the microcatheter shaft through the vessels. Monitor vessel morphology and microcatheter movement under fluoroscopy as you advance. For any additional questions, please contact Merit's clinical support team or your local Merit representative.